Today on the Daily Deposit, the Bud Light controversy is not going away. Here's why. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button like it owes you money and don't forget to smack the like button with a virtual high five. Oh, looks like Bud Light is stuck in a sticky situation. They thought controversies would blow over, but their partnership with transgender activist Dylan Mulvaney has caused a big uproar. Sales of Bud Light are taking a nosedive, down 17% compared to last year. Yikes! So, why isn't this controversy going away? Well, social science researchers have some insights. They've been studying consumer boycotts for years, and the results aren't looking good for Bud Light. One important factor is whether consumers believe their boycott will actually hurt the company's profits. And guess what? Bud Light customers are seeing their impact in real time. Sales figures are released every week, and Anheuser-Busch can't do anything to stop the negative data. Talk about a buzzkill. Another thing that determines the success of a boycott is how easy it is for people to switch to a different product. For example, when Shell wanted to sink an oil platform in the ocean back in 1995, consumers boycotted their gasoline. It worked because it was easy to fill up at a different gas station. But with Bud Light, it's a bit trickier. It's not a unique beer that stands out from the crowd. Pour it into a cup, and most people won't even know if it's Bud Light, Coors Light, or something else. So, it's super easy for people to reach for a different beer from the fridge. But here's the twist, the Bud Light boycott isn't just driven by radical extremists. Sure, the loudest voices may be the most politically passionate ones, like Kid Rock shooting bullets at Bud Light cans on TikTok. But there are also many Americans who just want their beer to be beer, not a political statement. They're tired of the whole debate, whether it's pro-trans, anti-trans, or any trans. They just want a cold one without the drama. Anheuser-Busch's CEO even said that the focus shouldn't be on the beer itself. But guess what? It is. And it doesn't seem like that's changing anytime soon. This Bud Light controversy is more than just a blip in the culture wars. It's part of a larger cultural shift. In the past, companies thought speaking out on social issues was an easy way to win points with customers. But now, the tide has turned. A poll shows that most Americans think companies are just using social issues as a marketing ploy. People are becoming skeptical of politicized institutions, even if their views align with their own. So, what should Anheuser-Busch do to fix this mess? Well, they better publicly commit to staying out of political issues. They've learned their lesson the hard way, but other companies should take note. In today's heated political environment, it's best to focus on your brand and stay away from the drama. Cheers to that!